What's up, man? It's your big brother, K. Reno. I want to shout out to my homie, Kofi, from Kofi's Universe. Y'all make sure to subscribe to his channel and support everything he got going on because he be dropping that knowledge. Yeah! YouTube salute an old tweet from Kendrick Lamar that reveals his preference between reasonable doubt and ill magic. So Kendrick said in 2010 that reasonable doubt is better than ill magic. We're going to talk about that, though. Don't worry, if you're new to my channel, thumbs up the video, hit that sub button, click that bell icon to be notified when I upload new content and go live. So over the last few months, rumors have been swirling about Dame Dash selling his shares of Rockefeller Records. It looks like the co-founder is serious about the sale, even um, publicly declared who he wants um, the purchaser to be. But on Thursday, um, he said that Kendrick Lamar by writing on his Instagram feed, Kendrick Lamar, my third is for sale if you want to buy it. And these serious offers, arrow emoji, DM. So they need like K-Dot, hit me up, homie, if you want this. Attached to the caption was a screenshot of a tweet Kendrick posted on June 5th, 2010. Damn, that was like, what, 14 years ago? The Poetic Justice rapper compared Jay-Z's um, pivotal project to Nas um, classic album crowning the former as his personal choice. I'm sorry, reasonable doubt is better than Illmatic. You can unfollow me now. Kendra wrote um, that at the time, that was 14 years ago, y'all, just letting y'all know. For auto J. Dane and Kareem Biggs Burke, infamous rock fallout is well documented. The trio was still together on paper for a long years to come. In February 2024, Rockefeller Corporation was ordered to satisfy an 823K judgment from movie producer Josh Weber and Muddy Waters films. This led to a New York judge ruling that Rockefeller Corporation must deliver Dame's shares of the company to the U.S. Marshals. The I Am Dame Dash creator has had a um, string of financial unfavorable situations since Parting ways with his old business partners. For Rolling Stone in 2019, he was arrested for failing to pay more than 400000 damn, 400000 in child support and his ex-wife, Rachel Roy, last November. On the CEO show, um, he called himself a proud broke, nodding that he couldn't afford annual child support payments of 300 k to 400 k to Roy. Speaking to Jay and Dane's relationship, the latter has stayed in headlines for his comments about the former. Most recently, he said during a conversation on Matt Hoffa's My Expert Opinion show that Hove was trying to be like him, specifically on Big Pimping. <laughs> Everything Jay said, he was pretending to be me. Yes, Dad said, who's the CEO? Who was Big Pimping? Who was doing all those things? It was me. All right, but um, how do I feel about Dane offering Kendrick Lamar um 33.3% of his um of that share, that one third share? I think that's cool. I think that's cool. Let's see if um K Dot jumps on it. He might jump on it. He got the money. That would be crazy though. Kendrick Lamar owning one third of Rockefeller Records, them them shares of reasonable man, with a reasonable doubt. The Masters, too, because that's part of the, the Reasonable Doubt Masters. Remember that. So he will have one third of the... That will be crazy. Him, like, now he can say, hey, Jay-Z, I got one third of <laughs> one of my favorite albums of all time. I own one third of it. That will be crazy. Do I like it? Um, I think it's a business venture. I mean, as far as, like, a great opportunity for Kendrick. You know, to do what he needs to do and never know what can, um, how he can capitalize and move forward with that. I mean, I feel like sky's the limit for him. Um, as far as Dane, I guess he probably just needs the money. I'm not knocking nobody like Dane Dash. If he needs the money, it is what it is. Who knows what's going on? I don't know his, you know, personal finances. All I know is what's being reported through media and through, um, these outlets. So, other than that, though. Unless he's being generous, cool. Unless he's saying I'm broke, okay, do what you got to do. Um, now, as far as Kendrick saying 
Reasonable doubt is better than Illmatic. That's his opinion. You know, everybody's going to be, you know, going to have their opinion. It's subjective. To me, Illmatic's better than Reasonable doubt. I don't care what nobody say. I don't care what nobody say. He's always been better to me. You know, Reasonable doubt is better than it was written to me. I'm not going to lie about that. Because when Reasonable Doubt came out, what, June uh, 1996, that shocked me. Those 14 tracks right there, Jay Z did deliver. Nas, it was written. It took me a long time to grow on that project. I really felt like Track Masters, it was trying to help Nas cross over to get that commercial wave going. And I wasn't really feeling that too much because I know how Nas is. And I'm glad he kind of went back to the roots on Steelmatic. But I just feel like it's still a, a dope-ass album, one of his top five albums. But I feel Reasonable Doubt is better than Illmatic. Not better than it was written. They're two years spread apart, so just letting y'all know that. Post your comments below. Hope smash Black Panther the like button. Subscribe to my channel. Click the bell icon to be notified when I upload new content and go live. If you want to support, donate to the channel. I have Patreon. Patreon.com slash Kofi Universe. Venmo, Cash App, PayPal, Streamlabs. Everything's in the description. Until next time, salute.